Welcome to the first episode of the Compared. Today we will be looking at comparing headless CMS options. And the three more popular ones I found were Contentful, Sanity, and Strappy CMS. I'm going to be making some assumptions in this one because I saw lots of blog posts about kind of like uh, CMS comparisons. And they usually get into like what is a headless CMS, why you should use a headless CMS, and stuff like that. I will not be covering that in this video. I will make the assumption that you know what a headless CMS is and you know why you might want one, you're just having trouble just deciding which headless CMS to choose. So without further ado, let's get into the pros and cons of Strapi. So the idea with Strapi is it's a headless CMS that's completely open source and you have full control over whatever you like to do with it, wherever you like to host it, um, or whatever database you'd like to use with it. Because of that, a lot of people like to prefer Strapi because of custom integrations that they might have with different software. Um, and it also has lots of built-in integrations of its own using its vast plugin um, marketplace. If you don't need all of those things, Strapi provides a quick start template that can get you up and running quite easily. One of the bigger cons of Strapi is that it takes a little bit of a longer time to set up because you actually do need to host your own server. Um, and what I wish there was was a cloud hosting option uh, because I just needed something that was pretty, pretty simple to use and something that was pretty straightforward to set up. But there isn't currently one for as of May 2022, but they do say it is coming soon. One big thing that it does introduce is components. So like I said, it's all about customizability with Strapi, but you don't have enumerated fields by default. So you kind of have to create your own enumerated fields with components, as I'm aware of so far. Next, we're going to be looking at pros and cons of Contentful CMS. The pros, what I was talking about as one of the cons of Strapi was it's completely cloud hosted. It's um, almost too easy to set up. Basically, like you just you create your account and then it actually just gets you right into the system. Um, it gets you right into a default database, which is pretty sweet, honestly. It also gives features a wide variety of fields, kind of like sanity covers, which we'll be looking at in a second. And it has an extremely simple user interface, pretty familiar to use. On top of that, you can use it with numerous projects, although, although I feel like there is a, a limit as of right now, but it's a pretty high limit. Of course, it has an amazing media manager, kind of like WordPress, but it, it just doesn't allow you to edit. It doesn't allow you like vast editing capabilities, kind of like Sanity and WordPress actually offer. The great thing it does have is it offers a heightened width API, so if you are using Next.js's um, image optimization, then it is pretty sweet. For cons, uh, you are limited on database and performance customization. By limited, I mean you have absolutely no choice. Um, you, you, you choose with content, like if you go with contentful, then you're using contentful. What you do have choice in is your query language. Basically you can, you can use GraphQL or rest. There's lots of other plugins as well. The reason I went for Strapi initially was because it offered single types, uh, which are basically types that allow you that only allow one entry inside. What this is great for is basically pages. So you have, um, you have pages that have their own specific, uh, data type. So basically, if you have a page, it has its own specific data types per page, right? Your home page might have um, uh, metadata, metadata types, which could be on all pages, actually. But it might all only have like a profile picture type, something like that, right? Um, and the other pages might not have that. So that's great about single types. Basically, you can edit your website um, from Strapi, which is pretty sweet. Contentful doesn't actually allow that. The initial setup is a little confusing as well, right? I was following um, the Net Ninja to actually get set up. And he did a pretty good uh, tutorial, but basically, since it throws you right into a project, it's not really what I want to get into a demo, an example project. I just wanted to experiment on my own. So I removed the project and I created my own, right? None of the other CMSs do that, as I'm aware, um, and it kind of catched me off guard. The documentation is quite complex. Like, it's not as simple as Sanity and Strapi. I actually didn't go quite deep into it, but the reason I didn't do that was because it looked quite complex um, to begin with. And lastly, we're going to be looking at Sanity. So Sanity's pros uh, basically allows you to access it through your own domain, kind of like an admin interface. If any of you have used Netlify CMS, it basically works off the same principle, where it just adds a slash admin route to your web page to allow you to actually edit the content of it, which is pretty sweet. On top of that, it comes with image compression and image editing, um, which Strapi and um, Contentful, I, I believe, also come with. And just like Contentful, it offers a wide variety of fields, including enumerated fields, which Strapi doesn't offer. It also offers a familiar user interface like Contentful, but one thing it does uh, add that Contentful doesn't have is customizing the interface, which is pretty sweet. There is still no database customization, but it's basically hosted on your end, right? So it doesn't matter as, as much. 
The cons of it is that there is a minor setup required, right? So it's basically kind of like in between strappy and contentful there. And it uses Grok out of the box instead of GraphQL. So you need to install a plugin for GraphQL or not a plugin. You have to actually switch gra to GraphQL functionality if you want to use GraphQL. Um, but that's actually not why I switched to, um, to a different CMS. It was because that it didn't offer a REST API. What my idea was is that I, compl I needed everything in my request. I didn't want to specific, like identify specific fields. It kind of got a little cumbersome after a while, which is why I didn't use GraphQL. So I use the REST API. I want to use the REST API instead of Grok, but that's a, that wasn't offered, unlike Contentful and Strappy, which do offer. So you might be wondering, which one do I prefer? I'm not going to give you the whole um, it depends situation because for me, it did, it, it did depend when I experimented with all three of them. And I chose based on... Um, the core principle that I was, I'm quite lazy, right? I want to get things done as fast as possible, making e efficiency and my use of time um, the forefront in, in decision making. And it will, ease of use comes quite a lot into that as well. So with that, I chose the Contentful CMS. The idea with that was it takes five minutes to set up and 15 minutes to create the CMS models. And inserting all the data took around 40 minutes and made it take around 40 minutes in total, right? So for my own personal website, uh, which is regilgenay.com, it was, it was pretty easy. It also has an enumerated field, um, which is pretty sexy, just like sanity, honestly, but like, like that, that doesn't matter too much. After looking at Strappy and having to create my own component there, it became a little more cumbersome, even though it seems like it's just a, like a simple, like, uh, um, a simple list. Then there is no single types with Contentful, so I just have to write all my data manually. But the fact that there is no single types have, is a small compromise compared to the fact that it actually has a REST API, which is pretty sweet. And the last point was I don't really want to customize anything in my CMS. I just wanted to have the, my own fields, and that's pretty much it. There's nothing about the CMS itself that I want to customize, um, which Strappy and Sanity both offer. But I didn't really need to do that, right? So the idea that Contentful is just like is, is pretty much an all-in-one solution um, is pretty sweet. Now comes a better question, which one do you prefer? So with this, it basically comes down to a, a few points and that'll help you decide. So I want to look at customization because Strappy, I believe offers the most customization, hence, it's a, hence the reason it's open source and has one of, is one of the most popular CMSs in the market right now. Sanity offers lots of customization as well, but it's more on, like, on the website itself um, that, that you're hosting it on because it offers that slash admin route rather than a separate hosting option kind of like Strappy is. And Contentful offers very little customization, right? Still offering um, basic user settings, but not as not as uh, deep as Strappy or Sanity. In terms of set of time, Strappy does take the longest, I noticed, um, just because of the fact that you have to make your own server if you haven't already have an instance set up. But if you already have an instance set up, you can just get started with a quick start template. It shouldn't take too much time there. In terms of set of time for Sanity, uh, you just have to get like get the whole interface together. They have lots of examples for specific places. So for example, I was using Next.js, so I use their I use their Next.js blog post to get started. But then they also support Gatsby and, and create React app, whatever you'd like to do. Um, but yeah, so that's how that, that's how I got started out with Sanity, and it was pretty sweet. Only thing I had to learn was Grok because that's from them, and I didn't really have any past knowledge of that. Contentful, it didn't take any time to set up. Like I mentioned, it only took like like 20 minutes total to actually get everything set up instead of like an hour and 20 minutes for sanity and like three hours for strappy. And lastly, we have price. Um, I'm going to give all these guys a green because they all have a free tier and um, strappy being the, is, is the most modest out, out of all of them because they don't really have like a huge paid option and you won't really ever need the paid option if you're using it for very uh, pretty basic purposes. Same thing with sanity and contentful. Like they have pretty sweet options right there. Sanity and Contentful offer their own CDNs, right? Strappy, you can um, just just host it on your own. The only, the only cost you would ever see um, probably with, is probably with Strappy where you would have to actually host it on your server. Then Contentful offers quite high pricing for uh, for, for teams, which is pr pretty which is pretty high compared to like Sanity. Uh, that's what I was looking at. It's like 499 or something like that um, instead of like the, the 49 for Sanity. So... For teams, it's a little bit more pricey for Contentful, but like I mentioned, if you're using it for like basic purposes, then like you're these, it's all they're all going to be green. They're all going to be free for you, right? So that's the great thing about a headless CMS. And that's pretty much the end of the video. Uh, I do hope you hope you guys enjoyed, and please do leave a comment down below if you'd like to see more softwares compared. Also, if you did like, please do leave a like down below. I much appreciate it. And if you made it to the end of the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned with more videos like this. Alrighty, I'll see you in the next one.